is Wadi Manisha and joining us now is Dr. Peter Clement. And could you tell us so what exactly is a project that is happening here? A secret that you're going to reveal? Yes, so this is part of the Oman drilling project. This is one of about eight cord holes that we will drill over uh, 2016 to 2018. This particular one we've just finished and we've been drilling those red rocks you see in the background. Oh, yes, yes. So those rocks are uh, part of the Earth's mantle okay. that was thrust onto the Arabian continent. Oh. And as it came onto the Arabian continent, carbon dioxide and other things from the sediments beneath percolated up into the bottom of the mantle and converted these rocks to rocks that are composed mainly of carbonate minerals. So the CO2 from the sediments is now incorporated in solid carbonate minerals. And they have dug the pipes 300 meters lower. That's right. To bring you the core. Right, so we went down 300 meters. The first 70 meters were these bright red rocks that you see. Then we drilled some unaltered rocks from the Earth's interior okay. and some more of this. And what will it all actually convey? Well, we're very interested in the chemical processes where sediments are thrust beneath the mantle, mm -hmm. what we call subduction. Okay. It's a very important part of the global geochemistry, global geochemical cycles. And in addition, perhaps we can learn from these processes how to capture and store carbon dioxide in solid form so that oh. scientific results from this project could be used sometime in the future, maybe not in Oman, maybe somewhere else to capture and store carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. There are many countries and scientists participating in this project. Yes, there are scientists from 11 different countries, at least. Last time I counted, 11 different countries. There are 133 scientists signed up to participate, and uh, they'll be involved in all different ways, from helping us here with the, uh, taking the drill core out of the ground, to describing the drill core on board the international uh, ocean drilling program vessels to doing later chemical analyses. Um, could you also tell us about the microbes? Yes, so one large group of scientists involved with the project are interested in the subsurface biosphere. There are chemical, there are microbial organisms that live in the subsurface and unlike on the surface where the bottom of the food chain is photosynthesis, mm -hmm. is energy from the sun, the bottom of the food chain for the subsurface uh, biosphere is chemosynthesis. There are microbes that basically eat rocks, and then in turn that supports a varied ecosystem underground. And so finally, after all the science research that has taken place, these uh, sediments or the particles that has been collected will be in the museums. Yes, they will end up, some of them will be here in Oman. The archive half of the core will remain here in Oman and the working half, as we call it, will be at the Museum of Natural History in New York City, where any scientist from anywhere in the world can request samples to, to study. Thank you so much for your time. You're most welcome, it's a pleasure. Thank you.